you know, people have walked in here with beliefs about uh, their limitations, um, and to some degree, we've shattered those beliefs. That what they realised was um, what they believed wasn't the truth. It was just their perception of the truth. They were learning specific things that were changing their perception. Um, and and that, that's enormously rewarding for a trainer when you're actually opening people's eyes. One of my um, driving goals is to be the catalyst for change in people's lives. I was uh, following Kevin on Facebook for about 12 months and quite intrigued by what he did, watching his posts. He always seems to be recommended when people ask for advice and was really intrigued to learn more about what he does. My background in property is, I wouldn't say extensive, started looking at property a couple of years ago and started to train myself up on property and the options that you've got and understand that actually it's not about just having lots of money and then buying property. There are other ways of doing it. Um, bridging is one of them, hence the reason that I'm here. The course and Kevin have been well spoken of. Kevin came to a network meeting. Uh, this was earlier this year and I'd seen him a couple of times and I was really, really impressed with what he had to say and the methodology around it. When the opportunity came just to do a day and then take it further here, I knew that this was right. After being made redundant, I decided this is it. This is the time to get on with it and to change our lives for good. Plenty of opportunity this weekend to examine in various areas of property what you believe to be true. Life should be a continual process of acquiring an ever more empowering mindset. I think it was Einstein that said, when you stop learning, you start dying. But of course, I said that word, bridging. Uh, and you've highlighted it, several, several people have highlighted it already. Um, you know, it's probably the scariest word in the property investor's vocabulary. Got an uh, abominable reputation. So that is a, for me, was a perfect illustration of this disconnect that people have with bridging. That they, they have a completely illogical thought process about bridging. And they're more than happy to give people twice as much as it would cost in bridging, or more sometimes, and let me tell you, if you take nothing else away from this weekend, that is your biggest weapon. That ignorance, that preconception, that unwillingness to look at anything more than the cost and not examine the profit is what 99% of other people are going to be doing. A lot of eye-opening thoughts that Kevin gave us all and I think a lot of us just sat in awe thinking, wow, you know, we've obviously been missing out on something. Today was really mind expanding. If you thought I had like 10 rules for property, I've now gone to 17, 18 and 19. use the words that whatever you've got thought about with your mortgage turn it upside down it's like shaking something up that you know and coming with a fresher perspective
If you enjoyed watching this video, did you know every Monday morning at 8.30, I do a live Facebook Q&A. So if you want to start the week with checking out some answers to your property finance questions, click the link here.